In this video, I'm going to use this copper coil to catalyze the decomposition of isopropanol or rubbing alcohol, followed by acetone, and show you how these two solvents behave with heated copper. So copper plus rubbing alcohol catalyzing the decomposition of the rubbing alcohol. See waves of oxide forming on it and then decomposing. Same thing happens with acetone. We'll do that next. Now we're using regular, regular acetone. You can see waves of oxidation and reduction over the catalytic copper surface. And it's staying hot, generating ketene and acetaldehyde as byproducts. And I can feel the heat radiating to my hand from this reaction. Acetone seems to work a lot better than rubbing alcohol or isopropanol. I believe the one I was using, the isopropanol, was 91%. But this acetone sure is working well. You should really do this in a well-ventilated area because of the ketene and other toxic products that are produced. I'm doing this in a garage. I'm going to take this out of here and show you what the surface looks like. Here it goes. So an oxidation reduction reaction taking place on copper surface. Starting right back up again. Here it goes. Waves of oxide. Followed by copper. Followed by oxide. Thanks for watching and uh, please check back for more videos.